This is a 2001 Boxster S and I was looking for the front cable release for the hood there and uh, from reading on the internet it seemed like it was on the left side so I popped the left headlight out and looked around and, and didn't find anything. So I had seen another video that said the right or passenger side and so I came over and started looking and right there that cable that is the one you're looking for you can fix you can fish it out with your hand and bring it out and that triggers the latch so if you're looking for this cable you can reroute it where you want at this point um, I found it's not that long may be able to reroute it to where everybody says to the front toe uh, for, for where you put the toe eye and I'm going to see about doing that next. Okay, the ne next task on this car is to try to remove this right here where the toe hook comes in and I'm looking at, at this. So I'm going to Okay, that did it. Well, it turns out that this doesn't look like it's going to be too bad. So, there's the cable that I pulled out. Again, it was right down there. And as I look through this hole, so give you all a little perspective here. I am able... Let me try to get a view. I am able to see the other side of the hole for the toe eye. So that comes straight out to here. So I'm just going to fish that through probably by hand. It would make it easier with fish tape or even a coat hanger, but I'm going to see if I can do it by hand. And uh, so I'm going to take this in, this end. Whoop, where am I? I'm going to take this end of the device bring it up and go back down in that general direction and I'll probably use uh, something like my handy dandy harbor freight tool in order to reach it from the other side of the hole. That wasn't too, wasn't too bad. I was able to pull the cable down. I just kind of dangled it and I've got a hook on the end of this small tool and I should be able to, without much difficulty, pull it straight out through the hole. Now I'm going to find out how I can secure it. I believe I'm just simply going to double it back like that and tuck. Um, I do want to make sure. It's hard to see, but um, it is moving the latch. So there's no interference there. So I'm just going to push it back in. And then leave that bit hanging out. And if you can see, the loop is plenty big not to go back through the threaded hole there. So I'm going to put the cap back on. Make sure that everything's snug and tightened up. And that's going to be it. In case you've never removed the headlight, I'm going to show you the installation. And uh, I'll explain the uh, removal in just a second. You've got this, which if you're removing it or installing it, needs to be in the down position to make things easier. This tool is in your tool bag. You remove this piece of paneling, and you remove the rubber stopper, which is right there. You've got a little perspective. There's the headlight. insert the tool and that allows you to control the lever so important here something to be mindful of is you have a track here and a track 
well I should a notch here those will line up with the headlight so as you're going in with the headlight you'll notice that knob you're going to line that up carefully ensuring you don't bump into anything and you get that lined up and you bring the whole headlight assembly back it should slide back easily keep an eye on what you're doing under here under here there's some stuff you want to avoid you come in I need to change that gasket and it's hard to see but immediately in there that notch that we saw this one on the light aligns with the notch that we have difficult to see but right there that I showed you earlier so just line those up and if you have the metal piece that's behind there that we're going to control with our tool if you have it in the down position this will flow right in and then you take your tool and gently turn it slowly you make sure you go in the right direction and it will come over and it'll latch just like that and that is that's it and to remove you just turn the other way normally you have to turn it and then bring it back a little bit so that the inside piece is flat so the headlights comes out 